Just a little disclaimer before I officially hop into this video. <sighs> this video is an absolute mess. It did not go how I planned. It was just meant to be like an unboxing and first impressions of the Cricut, trying to make a few things with it. Woo! Not a tutorial, just watch me mess around with it. And that is what it is, but everything was just going horribly wrong. So enjoy. Hey guys, so this is not the video I originally planned to do today. I have a different video that I filmed half of yesterday, but there's been a whole change of plans. I'm still gonna finish that video, but I'm gonna push it back, which is fine because it's kind of a Halloween video anyway, and it's not even October yet. But there was a change of plans because I'm just all hyper now. I got an email earlier today. Today is Thursday, by the way, that I'm recording this. It was an email from Fan Expo Vancouver saying that my application for an Artist Alley table was approved. Now this was a huge surprise because I applied forever ago and people who got approved for a table, some of them got approved like two to three months ago. So I thought for sure, okay, I didn't get a table. Usually you don't get notified if you didn't get a table for Artist Alleys. So, okay, I don't, just don't have a table for Fan Expo. But no, I do now and the event is in three weeks. So that just totally blindsided me. I'm like, oh my god, I have three weeks to pr prepare for this convention. Huh? I probably won't have time to order in more copies of my book, so I probably won't have any of those there. I also probably won't have time to make a bunch of button sets. I've been debating discontinuing those because they do take quite a while to make. It's still worth the money I make from them, but I have to put in so many hours of prep to produce them that it just takes a lot of my time. It's just a big task to add on top of all the things I normally do throughout the week. So I'm like, well, if I'm gonna have little to no button sets and I won't have my book, what am I gonna fill my table with? I have a double table. And I thought, well, I've been wanting to do stickers for the longest time, so why don't I do stickers? I would have to get those files made ASAP if I wanted to order stickers from somewhere online, but I thought, hey, I've been wanting a cutting machine for years, but I never had a true excuse to get one. But now I do. <laughs> I can make my own sticker sheets, and that way I don't have to worry about getting it done in the next few days, like getting the files ready, because I can just make them on my own time up until the convention. So today's video, as you know from the title and thumbnail and whatnot, I am unboxing the Cricut Explore Air 2 and I'm gonna play around with it and I guess give my first impressions. It's not a review because it's new. I just bought it today. This is not a sponsored video. I just went and bought it at Michael's and it was even discounted to be the same price it is on Amazon, so that was nice. So that's my really long explanation slash intro. Let's get into the unboxing part. So here it is, and of course it's pink because that's my favorite color. Like I said, I got it at Michael's. It was $269.99 plus tax, and that's Canadian dollars. I was looking at the Cricut Maker, but I just thought I don't need that. It's fancier, but this will do for what I need it for. So let's open this baby up. I just feel like I need to do something related to con prep today. Like, I just cannot justify working on that other video, even though I still need to do it. I just feel like I need to start on con prep. Okay, so here's the mat. I was kind of expecting it to be pink because I know they have pink mats, but that's okay. I also love the pink and blue slash pink and teal slash turquoise combo. This is a sticky mat that you stick paper on and then it cuts stuff out. Oh ho, ho, my goodness. That shade of pink looks even better than it does on the box. Okay, okay, okay. Gotta carefully take this out. Okay, that dropped a little. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, I can't believe I finally have one of these. I was debating between this and the silhouette, and they're pretty similar. There's a few key differences, but the main reason I chose this over the silhouette is that it cuts faster. And since I plan on cutting a lot, I want it to cut fast. Oh. Yeah. 
Kiki, are you helping me? It wouldn't be a Bailey J video without Kiki appearing in it. Well, you want the box? This is power cable. This is a cat. This is a USB cable. It does have Bluetooth, so that is an option. My desktop doesn't have Bluetooth, but I do have a Bluetooth dongle I could plug in to make it have Bluetooth. Instructions, I'm gonna need those. Let's get started. Oh, that's not the instructions. <laughs> the instructions are online. Oh, there's also a marker and some silica gel, woo. Keku. No, 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 no. Here's a close-up look at it. Ooh, yes. Ooh. <laughs> does it open if it's not plugged in? Yes, it does. I figured it was just a little mechanical thing. Ho oh, ho. Very nice. Very nice. Hmm. Cool. Well, now I'm gonna follow the instructions to just do the basics to get it set up. And then I'm going to tinker with their design software to see if I can make a sticker sheet. I don't have the sticker paper I want yet, but it's coming in the mail tomorrow from Amazon. So tonight I can just play around with some cheap sticker paper I got at Staples. But later on in this video, you'll see me use actual vinyl. So many kitty cats. Okay, it downloaded some stuff. And now I need to plug it in and turn it on. I just noticed that the little plastic packet didn't just have instructions slash warning papers. It also had some stuff that I'm assuming is for cutting samples. Maybe? I guess I'll find out. It says to set the dial to paper. Looks like it is leading me through a tutorial on how to make a card. So let's do this. I might get a second mat so that I can have something cutting while I'm placing something on the other mat and do like a little switcheroo. Ooh. The mat has a grid on it and it's sticky. It says in the corner, light grip. So I'm assuming you can get different levels of stickiness. Kiki. Oh my God. You just got a whole bunch of hair on this. It just says material set to cardstock. If I try closing this little X, it says, do you want to exit the setup? No, but how does one advance? And Goral, what are you doing? The bibs are curious. I'm just gonna look at the background instructions that are grayed out. It says load midnight pen in clamp A, load fine point blade in clamp B. I'm assuming the blade's already in there. I have a feeling this mat is gonna get hairy and disgusting. Okay, paper is on. Okay, okay, it's loaded. Is that even clamped? Why is it wiggling so much? Oh, there we go. I can't get through the tutorial. I don't know what it wants me to do. The cut light's not flashing now. It's like adjust Desi like it's just dialed to desired material and it told me to set it to cardstock. It's set to cardstock. I've tried setting it to other things and switching it back. <sighs> Why? <gasps> I got it to flash by moving the dial. I moved it away from cardstock and back.
it now says to press the unload button and remove the pen and peel the stuff off. So apparently the proper peeling method is to flip the mat over and peel the mat away from your object. Then we just fold the card in half and put in the insert. I'm gonna go with blue. Well, ain't that cute. Okay. It's really cool how it can draw. Now I'm gonna test it out on this crappy sticker paper I got from Staples. I have to wait until tomorrow to try my nice vinyl, but this will do for all the testing. It's just a solid sheet of sticker paper. It has a matte finish. It feels just like regular printer paper, but with a sticky back. So let me just prep my file in Photoshop and then I will update you. So I took my Animal Crossing button art and just converted it into a sticker sheet. There was a lot of back and forth in my whole process, so I'm only gonna show a little teeny bit of it. And once I have everything down to a science, I will do a tutorial, but at this point, I don't even wanna show too much of what I'm doing because it's not right. No, no, no. Oh no, that's not right at all. So that was an epic fail. Whoa, fast mode is just ripping. You're not supposed to use fast mode with regular paper. I didn't get the option to do fast mode until I set it to light cardstock. <laughs> so I'm cheating the system here. Okay, I finally figured out a system that works for my stickers. I spent way too long messing with the other settings. This is just a regular piece of paper, so it's not gonna have any backing to it, but it cut nice and centered, woo. So it's now the next day. I'm wearing the same sweater because it was down here and I was cold. Got my SpongeBob shirt on, you. <laughs> I ended up cutting out a ton of footage from last night because there was so much trial and error and I printed so many sheets and cut so many sheets. It was just a mess. I was desperate to get by with the cut feature instead of print and cut because with cut you can print on the entire map but with print and cut you're limited to a certain section. And I was just so determined to get the cut method to work and I was watching all these tutorials on YouTube and stuff, but the alignment would always be slightly off. I think I only got it perfect once, but then when I tried putting another sheet on, it would be a little off. It was just so weird. I think part of it is because my printer is not always consistent with how it prints, but with the print and cut method, it prints a some registration marks that the Cricut reads and so even if the paper printed slightly differently it would still read the registration marks and cut properly. So I gave up on the cut method and went with print and cut which is working way better. I don't even need full page printing for these sheets because I can only fit two on an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper anyway so yeah. My vinyl paper came in the mail this morning so I'm gonna try making stickers with these. The problem is I accidentally ordered the matte finish. I could have sworn I picked glossy. So when it arrived, I was like, this isn't gloss. Check my Amazon order. No, I ordered matte finish. What, why? So uh, we have a bit of a problem here. I thought I ordered inkjet vinyl. Again, I must have gotten all the listings mixed up and this is not inkjet vinyl. It's just smudging everywhere. Oh my God, this is such a mess. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make some really cool sticker sheets. I mean, this video is not a tutorial. It's just me messing around with my machine, but huh, sad times. So I just ordered some proper sticker paper, <laughs> inkjet, glossy, which is what I wanted. So now I just wait one to three business days. Well, I guess I will just continue to play around with this. I have printer ink all over my fingers. Ugh. I feel like I made this process way more complicated than it had to be. Oh my God, it's cutting crooked. When will this nightmare end? It printed the border fine, but the inside is crooked. 
It was fine when I had it set to cut everything at once because I was just cutting through regular paper, but now that I'm making it two separate cuts, one for the outside, one for the inside, it's not aligned. I tried making different layers in the software where it was basically cutting the outline twice, once with the stickers and then once without. It was basically just a white box that I made it cut around, and that way I thought it would align the stickers better but it cuts the box just fine and then cuts the stickers crooked even though it's the same cut. By same cut, I mean it's the same page right here where it cuts a white outline and then cuts the stickers. And it cuts them off from each other even though it's the same chunk. Like it would make sense if maybe between this chunk and this chunk they were off center, but like within one cut, they're off center. It's driving me crazy. It was fine before when I had the layers all attached, but I even attached the sticker cuts to the big white square and it's still off. It keeps shifting the sticker cuts, whereas the cuts over here are perfect. It's already rounded because it did cut the edge, but it was cutting a sharp cornered square as well. So how did it align one piece of the same cut correctly, but then what was within it was not aligned? It's cutting way to the side. It's very frustrating. I'm sure I'll eventually figure it out. If you have any suggestions in the comments, that would be great. Every tutorial I've seen about cutting the sticker sheets, it's just cutting this part and there's not really a background that's being cut out. They just kind of leave it white and then cut around it with their scissors or whatever they use. I have yet to find a proper tutorial on how to kiss cut the stickers, but then fully cut the edge. I think the only thing I really can do is just cut the inner pieces and then use my guillotine cutter to cut around it. It won't have the round edges. I guess I'd have to manually use a round corner punch, but I thought it'd be nice if it just cut everything. But I'm gonna stop with this for today because I'm running out of time and I'm gonna move on to experimenting with the vinyl and maybe a little bit more with the marker. So I just have a simple PNG file here. I just put my name and a couple logos because why not? Okay, the vinyl is stuck on. It's not perfectly aligned there, but it's not a print and cut, so I don't think it has to be perfect. Let's set it to vinyl. There are different thicknesses of vinyl, but hopefully that's sufficient <laughs> for cutting this. Oh, I should have checked if the fast option was available. I'm curious to see how deep it cut. Did it go all the way through, just through the top layer? Let's find out. Okay, it didn't go all the way through. Was it enough for the top layer though? Yes, it was. Oh, baby. A little letter E. I'm gonna stick it to my sketchbook slam sketchbook, cause why not? It's almost centered. <laughs> cool, Bailey J. I don't know where I want to stick these other ones. This is pretty thin vinyl. The stuff I just ordered is thicker than this, which will be nice. Ha, huh, cool. I would have put the text a little higher if I knew I was gonna put that there, but <laughs> oh well. And I have a little glitch here. I don't know where to put him. This wasn't the most efficient use of this sheet of vinyl, but I just, I don't know what else I'm really gonna use it for. I have 10 feet of it, so I don't mind wasting a bit of it. It's so flimsy, it's hard to put down shapes like that. Hee <laughs> hee, there's glitch. As frustrating as the stickers were, I'm sure I'll get it figured out eventually. This is a little crinkled because Kiki was just laying on it. But I'm gonna do one more thing before I end the video. I'm gonna just print off the exact same thing, but I'm gonna use the pen to just draw it. I'm not gonna cut it out. I'm just gonna see how the Cricut pen writes it.
kind of neat. I don't know what instances I would use this over just printing something, but it is neat how it traces around an object. You do see little marks though where the line started and then came back around because that's where the pen touched down more than once. Well, that's about it for the mess that is this video. At least I'm one step closer to being prepared for my convention. So there's that. Woo. Come see me at Fan Expo, October 12th, 13th, 14th, here in Vancouver. Woo. Hopefully I'll have sticker sheets. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video.